Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another slightly late painting stream. I realize I'm about 10 minutes late with today's stream. I was having computer issues. It'll happen, I guess. I had one of those Windows 10s updates that I had to deal with, and then iTunes broke, and I had to deal with that. This is definitely going to motivate me to uh, work on changing over from iTunes um, just so I can have better integration with the stream. Uh, iTunes does not really cooperate very well with streaming and stuff. But I'm here now. I made it. I'm online. I'm streaming. Um, I've been feeling out of sorts today. Just tired and cranky and bleh. But this tends to help hanging out with friends and doing a little bit of painting. Uh, I've said it before and I'm almost definitely going to say it again. Uh, painting for me is a very meditative thing. It is very calming. It is a good chance to sort of get my head on straight. And I make some progress and I do some stuff and I feel like I've accomplished something by the end of the day. Uh, so at the beginning of this week, the question for me was, how many minis, if I'm not doing giant terrain, how many just regular sized uh, Games Workshop minis can I paint in a week uh, in five two-hour sessions? And I'm pretty sure now that the answer is three. Three minis in ten hours, which is a pretty significant improvement over my past average which used to be like one mini every eight hours um, I don't feel like I'm paying less attention to detail with these I've just gotten a little bit faster at applying paint maybe it helps to have dedicated time so I'm not distracted or you know moving between things um, but let's jump to zoom cam and take a look at what I've been working on. So these are the Raptorix models from uh, the Warcry starter set. You can see that I've been doing them in a very colorful style. Um, I decided not to do them sort of the way that Games Workshop intends them to be done, which is very um, sort of monochromatic, a lot of browns, uh, Oh, that made it too bright. Sorry. I'm trying to uh, adjust the camera there. There we go. Anyhow. So, yeah, I've been uh, experimenting. I got to use my new metal and alchemy metallic paints that I got. And I am really, really pleased with how these folks are looking now. I uh, did a few little tweaks on them yesterday. Um, I gave them sort of a lighter belly to try and give them a little bit more color. Um, changed the beak. The beak is much darker than it was before. Uh, and I kind of like how it's looking now. Like particularly on this, this little duder here. You can see the dark beak and the, the tongue and the eyes. It all all looks very cool. So yeah, making progress. Uh, I'm going to try and get a third one of these done today. This little fella here, uh, he's got the same head as this one, but a uh, different frill, uh, different pose. So, you know, I like the variety of these pieces they all look similar, but they've all got different poses. Um, so we're going to do this today. Uh, get in there, add some color to it. And then the plan tomorrow uh, is that I'm going to do a wash on these three. And I'm going to work on the base. I was going to do some base work today, but I never managed to get myself out of the house yesterday. I was going to go to the uh, Abington store. Well, thank you very much, Novocaine for the Souls. It's good to be back online. But, uh, 
took a little bit of effort this morning. I don't know, my, my computer wasn't cooperating with me. Uh, Novakin, how is my bitrate? Um, part of what took me so long to log in today is that I rebooted my router. And uh, hopefully my resolution's a little better. Eh? I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's dive in here. Um, actually, if you've been watching this week, you're familiar with the color scheme that I'm doing. So I'm going to start in on the body with this yellow green, which is a deliciously dirty looking green there. Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea what is going on. Why I'm at 614. I was I was higher resolution before, right? I didn't change any settings. I don't know, maybe my ISP is throttling me. Who knows? Who knows? It's frustrating. 26, 27 kilobits per second. I doubt I can change settings on the fly while the stream is live, but let's take a quick glance into my settings here. Output, 2768 bitrate. Video, 1092 by 614. some paint on models. Don't worry about that again tomorrow. So I can figure out what's going on. It's a little frustrating because I really am trying to make this stream as professional appearing as possible. Uh, you may have noticed I've adjusted my camera after looking at a couple of other painting streams. I realized that I was giving a, a great view of my wider desk space that was not really keeping the, uh, the model front and center. So, I adjusted my camera a little bit. So maybe you can see that in better detail, even if the resolution is quite low. I'm gonna have to noodle with things today. Like I said, um, I don't know if you were here, Novocaine, when I said that uh, my iTunes was not cooperating with the stream today. So I think I'm going to try and move away from iTunes uh, for hosting the music on stream. It's just not a good fit with uh, OBS. It works well enough, but there's not much integration between the two. So, I'm going to switch over. Make things work a little bit better. That's a, a job for this afternoon. I'm on vacation this week, so I have time to address these issues. Although I will say, the primary thing I have found time for during this vacation is sleeping. Vacation during lockdown, yes, exactly. Um, I mean, my 
the store that I work at has been open for business since last year. So um, I've been in the store five days a week pretty much since um, businesses were allowed to serve customers. We've had limited ability to host tournaments and stuff, obviously, because that's something that requires being able to have more people in the store than we were strictly comfortable with having. But as long as everybody's been masked and as long as we've been sort of restricting ourselves to 25% capacity, we have been open. We have had people in the store. Um, so, full-on lockdown for me only lasted about two months. And then we had uh, curbside pickup at the store for a while. And that required me to be there to process all the orders. Uh, and until the United States Postal Service got completely unusable, we did still sell magic cards online. We do still, just not through TCG Player and Amazon anymore, because we can't reliably get the cards from our store to the customers. It's uh, not a great thing. Just a little legacy of the last administration messing with us in the store. Making it impossible to to do something that actually was a revenue stream for the store. Very disappointing that we've lost that. Life must improve well. I hope it will. I mean, I've got my second dose of uh, Pfizer. So I am now... A week and a half away from maximum efficacy for me, which means that I can hopefully see friends and family soon. All of them are getting vaccinated as well, and a lot of them are. Like my good friend and moderator of the chat. Insidious Pie. She's gotten her second dose. So, yeah. Progress. Life is... Life will find a way. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I've been on vacation this week, and I have spent vast amounts of time just sleeping. I think my wife and I were talking about this this morning, and part of it initially was probably me reacting to the vaccine. You know, your body is building up antibodies and you have a little exhaustion from that but a larger part of it is probably relaxing after being so intensely tightly wound up for so long like 
because I've had to go into work constantly, there's been sort of this low-grade terror. I'm actually quite astonished that I never came down with COVID. I mean, I was very careful. I was double masked. I was, I never ever took my mask off. Um, spent a lot of time making sure everybody else in the store was masked up. But even so, I've been spending you know, 35 hours a week in indoors. And it's a spacious area. The store is not a confined space. And I haven't been right next to anybody. But it's still kind of astonishing that this virulent disease never reached me. Knock on wood. I did have a slight scare at one point. As I did come down with some flu-like symptoms at one point a few months back. But I went and got tested and after several days it came back negative. Yeah, I could have been asymptomatic, it's true. It's one of the, the major dangers of this thing is that carriers often don't know that they're carriers and pass it on to people who are more vulnerable or susceptible. Mm. Yeah, I know you had it. How's your father doing, by the way? Because it sounds like he really he got the long COVID. Um, I did have a co-worker who tested positive, but he's a part-timer at the store who works as his primary job um, as a intake at a cancer ward. Uh, so he deals with more susceptible people on a more regular basis. Dang it. There's a hair. There, I got it. There was a hair that was actually in the... Uh, Anyways, yeah, the long and the short of it is that I have slept a goodly part of the last three days away, but I've spent probably six hours a day just napping. I, I clearly needed it. But I am going to spend some time tweaking the stream trying to make it more fun to watch and more interesting. I've decided to make the final push towards Twitch affiliate. Um, the big metric that I need to hit is followers, but we're doing okay on followers. We we blew past my April goal, which was fantastic, and thank you very much, Novocaine. I think you were a large part of that. So now I have uh, my affiliate goal, which is 50, and I'm going to see if I can hit 50 followers by the end of May. I think it's doable. 
It's going to take a little work. I'm going to have to going to have to live the hustle a little bit. Yeah, you definitely gave it a nudge. I really appreciate that. your fans need to hang together. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, I uh, I checked out Solway Studios uh, stream, and oh, it was fun to watch. So he's one of the folks that followed me the other day during that sort of burst of activity. He was talking uh, in chat about the fact that he had been working on his Tao. So I watched a little bit of his towel painting. And who is the other one? The something Fox. Um, checked out his stream as well. It's always good to see what other folks are doing. areas that are definitely on the insides of things. I'm pleased to say that uh, even after several days of doing these Raptorix, I'm not sick of them yet. <laughs> It helps that there's a, a bit of variety in the sculpts, but it also helps that I really like the, the models themselves. And I am so happy with how those metallic paints came out. They look so good. Hopefully today, at some point, I will get off my behind and drive out to Battleground and pick up some basing materials so that I can do something about these very plain, boring bases. And then tomorrow, on stream, uh, I'll work on the bases, and I'll work on, uh, I'll do a wash on these, and then on Friday, finishing Friday, we'll go in and do highlights and edges and stuff, try to really make them pop, bring them to life. And by the end of day Friday, we should have three completed minis. Which is pretty nice. Definitely lots of progress. The peckish fox, that's right, that's right. I've 
been trying to make time in my schedule to tune into as many other painting streams as I can so that I can see what works in terms of like setups and see what other people are doing pick up some new techniques I can always use new techniques for example when I was watching Solway in the studios he was um, texturing with a, a bit of sponge which was definitely cool to watch and something that I thought well I can definitely do that Yeah, exactly. Solway has some cool techniques in weathering. Um, the Peckish Fox, the stream that I watched, he was um, doing highlights on the um, Orc Army. And it definitely was interesting to watch that too. So, yeah, my advice to people who like painting minis is watch other people paint. See what they do. I know I say it all the time, I am not an expert. But I think everybody is always learning everybody is always picking up new talents or at least I think that's the goal of most artists I don't know anybody who wants to just stay comfortable with what they're doing everybody wants to stretch a little bit right everybody wants to improve themselves at least that's my experience I would certainly not be satisfied with just being good enough. I always want to be improving. That's part of the fun. All right, let's work on this, uh, this grill. I mentioned before that when assembling these there's a lot of variety available in the frills and you can definitely see it here this model has these the neck out in these two little sort of spread out patterns this one the frill is sort of down and back and this one sort of midway between like it's spread but not Pulled forward so it was it was a lot of fun to assemble these just because you got an opportunity to build some variety into them so what I've been doing on the cowls and on the tails is I've been doing a fade from uh, the yellow green to a light blue pale blue And I've just been sort of doing it with a little bit of wet brushing on the model, uh, which is to say I'm blending on the model as I go. Not something I'm super comfortable with. Yes, I'm doing a wet blend. Uh, so on these models, I actually have two different techniques. Uh, so I've been doing a wet blend for this fade here and on the tail there. And I'll be doing that right now. Uh, but then on the bottom, here you can see, I've, I don't know if you can see it on stream, but I've got some uh, a lighter color on the belly there. And that's just dry brushed in. So sort of um, 
feathered in. So, different techniques. I like to experiment. But yes, I'm doing a, a wet brush for this. And it's... Hmm, I'm not great at it. But I'm definitely... I feel like I'm getting better. So basically, I get the, the two opposing colors at the opposite ends. So here's the, the light blue here. And the green there. And then uh, I'll blend, blend them up a little bit and make a intermediary between the two. just sort of um, blending the paint on the model so while the paint is still wet you're almost using the model as a palette blend the paint as you drag it on Like I said, it's not a technique that I'm super comfortable with yet, but I feel like I'm slowly getting better at it. The real trick is that um, you can't tell how good it is really until the paint dries because the paint appears brighter when it's wet especially the green here so I can't tell how well the fade is going until it dries but that that's pretty good I said practice 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 I think that looks pretty good So on the model that I worked on yesterday, um, I colored the spines on the crest here the same color as the talons, which is that mummy robes color that I've got. And I think maybe it looks a little jarring and out of place. So once I've done the wash, I think I'm going to go in and do it over in the uh, 
pearlescent bright green. to match the wings. Definitely I've been having fun with these models because I'm doing a couple of different techniques trying to keep things interesting. Interesting to me. Uh, blending is tricky for me, but that's part of the fun. It's doing something a little tricky. This is a nice contrast here. You can see this side where I've done the blending versus this side where it's just the two tones. It's messy, but it's fine. Uh, once I've got a wash on there and have added uh, a little bit more to it, it'll look less chaotic, I think.
cool. Now let's do the back. messier on the back, I think, because uh, it's less of a focal point. We'll do that tag. That's stuff that I did on the belly, which is primarily dry brushing. I feel like I've begun to feel like I've got a, a bit of a method for these. I, I, this is the third of these that I've done, so getting more used to them. That's why it was so important on Monday to figure my palette out and do that color test so that by the time I reach today it's just sort of a matter of following the pattern that I already laid for myself. That looks pretty good. Yeah. All right, uh, what next? Guess I'll do feet and belly. Is that unlurk or is that relurk? I should make a lurk emote of some sort. Alright, uh, 
for the feet and belly. I'm doing this lime green. Bright green there. chicken feet I guess just general raptor feet Glad that I decided to stream today in spite of the difficulties I was having. Like I said at the start, I had to contest with some computer stubbornness to get the stream going today, and uh, I actually did contemplate briefly saying just, well, whatever, maybe today I don't stream, but I'm glad I didn't this really is one of the best parts of my day and I look forward to this it's very relaxing it's nice to get something done I like to feel the sense that I'm creating something nice to have folks hang out with me in chat keep me company and it's just a pleasant way to spend a couple hours take my mind off of things certainly a hell of a lot better for my mental health than scrolling around on horrifying doom sites. I really should cut social media out of my life. It's not good for me. That's why I have my Mastodon account for when I want to just see people with similar interests and less horrifying doom. Okay, so that's the, the feet done. Let's do the belly and underside of the tail. And for that I am dry brushing. So multiple techniques on this model. Hey Jen, uh, it's going pretty well. I had a difficult time getting my day started because the stream didn't want to cooperate. But now that things are going, I'm doing pretty well. I'm working on a third of these Raptorix. So I'm, I've just finished doing the uh, its little feet there. And what I did with the other two because the feet were so bright 
in contrast to the rest of the body, I decided to add a bright underbelly to the figure. And the way I'm doing that is I'm dry brushing it in. So I've got my uh, small dry brush and get some paint up in the bristles. You've watched me do some dry brushing before, so you know how I end up doing this. I want a little more paint than normal uh, initially because I'm not doing edges. And then I'm going to uh, go in here, start on the belly. And then as I get up higher on the model, I'm just gonna feather it on. lighter the further up we go. There we go. So these are the two different techniques that I'm using on the model to give it a, uh, a fade from one shade to another. On the belly here I'm using this dry brush technique that ends up feeling sort of spotty like that, if you can see it. sort of a textured feel to it. And on the cowl here and on the tail, I've used that wet brushing technique to blend the paints for a smoother look. It doesn't look perfect here, but when I get a wash on there, it'll look less chaotic, I think. But it's definitely um, two different techniques to get similar things, and you can see how they, they look different. Similar effects. They're different techniques. And very much this, this whole stream is about testing my limits and doing new and interesting things. So doing a few different techniques on the, on the model is definitely in flavor for my stream. I feel a lot better about the blending I did on the tail here and the blending I did on the front. Yeah, well. But with the wet brushing, you get a, a sort of smoother contrast. And with the dry brushing, the feathering in like this, you get a more textured look. This is tricky because I just press 
parts of the belly I can't really reach with my, with my brush. It's fine. Pretty good. Pretty good. detail I'm going to work on is the leg wraps because these guys have these sort of cloth wraps around their legs there we're using necromancer cloak So we'll do the beak next. And I was saying I was tempted not to stream today because my stream was being so stubborn about not getting started. And to reboot my router and install an update on my on the computer that I'm streaming from. And just like everything wasn't working. And I almost live today and I'm so glad I didn't because this is uh, so rewarding to get some painting done that I've been trying out. And I get to see you folks in chat, which is always nice too.
Alright, let's do fangs and talons. Well, it doesn't really have fangs, because it's got a beak. It's got no teeth. But it does have a lot of talons on it. So let's do those next. Uh, which I am doing in mummy robes. Some sort of beige. Very light beige. We're almost to my favorite part, which is doing the wings. The whole reason I decided to do these Raptorix this week is I wanted to take a break from working on uh, terrain and actually work on a model that I had been looking forward to. I contemplated putting these off and doing them last, just because I knew I was going to enjoy doing them so much. but. I know, this was the week that I was getting my second COVID shot. And I kind of decided I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to do these Raptorix. Because they're really cool models. And ever since I first saw them on the sprue with these gorgeous wings, I was like, I want to paint those. special treat to me painting these Raptorix this week. second coat and wait for this to dry. I'm going to do a wash on these three figures that I've done. I'm going to go today to Battleground in Abington and get some stuff to work on these bases to make the bases less basic.
Friday, we'll dedicate it, uh, as usual, finishing Friday, we'll dedicate it to uh, highlights and sort of final details on these. Because they're looking good with just the base coat. They'll look better once I get a wash on, but they'll really come to life with some final details, some edges, some highlights. Those last little finishing touches that bring them from mostly done to completely done. But it's been a really good week, I feel, uh, in terms of the painting, the painting progress. I don't know if it's been a great week outside of that. I mean, yes, I'm on vacation, and yes, I got my second shot, but I felt, I don't know, a little down this week. But painting-wise, it's been a good week. Quite happy with the progress I've made on these figures. And we definitely answered that question that I had, which was, now that I've done a whole bunch of terrain, and I know it takes me like a week to do a single large terrain piece, which is not great, but yeah, it's where we're at. Um, how long does it take me to paint a bunch of smaller minis? And the answer that we're at right now is if I'm work if I'm doing five two-hour painting shifts. I can get three minis done in a week. Which may not sound like a lot, but it's better than my old speed used to be. So, yeah progress. This whole painting stream has definitely helped me with my painting speed. That's nice. So one of the funny things that's sculpted into this, into these Raptoryx, is that they have these sort of knobby bits on their limbs that look almost like little talons punching through their skin. And that's how I've been painting them, as if they've got extra talons extra, like, little, little teeth or claws coming up through their flesh here. It's just a cute little detail. And they have it on the thighs, too.
we're going to do the gold rings that they've got. And then we'll do the feathers. And that will be a third lap drapes with a complete base coat. Oh, I went a little heavy there. That's fine. The wash will cover that up. Gold next. So this sculpt has a gold ring there, or a ring, I've been painting them gold. One there and one there. For that we're using Auric Armor Gold. a very brilliant gold and it looks so good in contrast with the green of the, the skin Hello, Amanda. Welcome once more to the world of the conscious. I am almost done with a third of these raptor eggs. So Amanda, I did reboot the router, but it apparently did not fix my uh, resolution issue. I don't know why Twitch is broadcasting me at a very low resolution. I could probably go in and adjust the, um, the frame rate down. Maybe that would increase the resolution. I don't know. Don't necessarily need a super smooth, silky, high frame rate here. All right. Uh, done with those rings. I'm gonna do his beak next. And for the beak, I've been doing. Uh, where did I put it? There it is. Heavy green. This is one of my tiny whiz kids pots. Don't need my 
much of it. Initially, I went for a um, much brighter beak. I tried a yellow beak on the first one of these figures that I did. And then, although it looked good for the sort of tropical bird look that I was going for with the wings, I felt like it detracted from The focal point it made you uh, look more at the beak than at the rest of the figure it was distracting so I've decided to go much darker and do the beaks in this dark dark green and then uh, after I've done a wash I'll come back in here and add some sort of lighter highlights. And I think that should look pretty good. I need slightly more of this green than I dipped out there. sculpted into the beak here. Like they've got little nostrils up here at the very front. And the beak is not just a single piece. It's got some detail to it. Um, so hopefully after I've done a wash I can catch some of those edges and make it look a little more interesting. That was probably the bit that took me the longest on Monday when I was trying to come up with the paint scheme for these, was figuring out the color for the beaks. I was like, should I go orange, brown, I tried yellow, I tried a bright skeleton bone, I did a whole bunch of different things. And ultimately, I think this is the best option I came up with. There. Beak done. Let's do his tongue. Welcome back from your lurk, Novocaine.
So this is a question that Pi, my mod, asked the other day. But do other streams actually have something that they say when you do the bang lurk, the exclamation point lurk command? Or is that just sort of Twitch shorthand? Like, should I have it say something in response? I don't know. Yeah, I kind of figured it was something like that. get to the wings. The best part. Save the best part for last. But we're pretty much done with a third Raptorix already. With the base coat at least. There's obviously other things I'd like to do with it. do those over the next couple of days. But we're getting close to done with the base coat on this fella. Pretty much exactly two hours per base coat, which is a nice thing to have dialed in on. So if I can do the base coats on three figures on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then I can do washes and stuff on Thursday. Highlights on finishing Friday. Oh, you know what? I was going to... On this one, you can see I did sort of a white on the cowl. I'm going to do that here as well. Just highlighting these, these ridges here. probably going to come back in after the wash and change these to one of the wing colors probably the uh, the bluish iridescence but for right now we'll do these in white No, I could see that um, when lurking, it would be a common courtesy just to mention it so that the streamer isn't trying to talk to you while you're lurking. Probably will put a command into the bot. I want to spend some time on the bot today. Maybe I'll have some time to do that. Between all the 
napping and playing Mass Effect. That's what I've been doing. I started a new game of Mass Effect Andromeda, just sort of as something to do while I'm waiting for the remastered Mass Effect to come out. And I'm very much enjoying playing it again. I like the Mass Effect games. And the Dragon Age games. A little disappointed that Mass Effect Andromeda didn't do well enough to warrant sequels because they do sort of set it up to be part of a series. And then just sort of nothing. Alright, there we go. Looks pretty cool. Now, I think. Wings. So again, Metal and Alchemy Emerald for the base of the wings. some of the spines along the, the back and the crest. So pleased with these paints. can't, having done this to these figures, <laughs> which is, you know, making them all bright and exotic, I can't imagine doing it any other way now. Like, this is just how I feel these Raptorix should look. I'm sure some folks would think they're somewhat blasphemous that they don't look threatening enough, maybe? They're meant to be chaotic beasts. A danger on the battlefield. I guess I approached them more as a painting project than as making something serious to go on the on the table but I'm really pleased with how they've come out
it's so satisfying to go from having something that's just plain gray to something so interesting, vibrant, detailed. almost feel like these um, metallics are cheating because they're too gorgeous and too easy. folks probably can't see this. In fact, I didn't see it until I was holding them on at this specific angle. So, there. There, I fixed it. Okay. Now to the back of the wings. Oh, I need to stretch a bit. Oh. I think these two hour time blocks that I've set myself are pretty much perfect because if I was going to paint any longer I would really put a crick in my back from being hunched over like this. Two hour blocks are great. If I was going to do more painting I'd probably do a two hour block and then play some Beat Saber or some other game that gets me up and moving. Stretch myself. And then come back to painting. Rather than doing one very long painting stream. get back to doing the large terrain pieces, I'm going to have to block out some larger times because some of those pieces are just going to take such a long time to complete. This is so much surface area. And even if I had airbrush to get some of the areas. 
there's places where I've sort of committed myself to doing a certain level of detail that an airbrush really wouldn't work at. I'm perhaps putting more fine detail into those terrain pieces than they strictly need. But, I don't know, I'm kind of committed now. And I want them to look a particular way. And to achieve that is going to take a lot of effort. on to something else. Maybe I'll work on my Tau army a little bit. I have a couple of other projects I want to do. Um, some other painting and modeling techniques I want to practice. So yeah, I've got other things I want to dedicate some time to. Not that I'm bored with the, uh, the war cry stuff. I just don't want folks to think this is an all war cry painting stream. It happens to have been an all war cry painting stream because that's the project that I wanted to get done when I started this. This, Metal and Alchemy, Kunzite Alchemy. Then I just have to do the eyeballs on this figure, and its base coat is done. So we are approaching the end of another excellent stream. I'm so pleased with how these are coming out. So pleased that folks could join me today. I was, uh, like I said, it was tough to get going today. Because I had computer problems, I had to reboot the router, I had problems with iTunes, and I almost gave up and decided not to stream. But I'm so glad I didn't. Because if I had, we wouldn't have this cool figure looking the way it does, and I wouldn't have had an opportunity to hang out with you folks. practice in on my uh, wet brushing technique. Slowly getting better at that. But definitely practicing new techniques is part of what this stream is all about. So I'm glad I got to do work on that. Every day I feel like I'm getting better, accomplishing more with my painting.
And like I always say, it wouldn't be as much fun if I didn't have friends hanging out with me while I did it. So you folks make this stream more entertaining for me, and therefore you folks make it possible for me to get this stuff done. Someday, Abington will have this gorgeous looking set of Warcry miniatures. And anybody who wants to come into the store and get a demo of the game can check them out. And I think it's a great benefit to the store to have cool looking figures. It's certainly very nice for me to be able to practice and pick up some new painting techniques. And hopefully the stream is a fun place for you folks. I know I look forward to hanging out with you every day. Yep, there we go. I painted the camera. Good job, me. wait to work on the, uh, the highlights, get the wash on here to bring out some of the detail. I really look forward to completing these minis. So like I said, tomorrow is a wash on all three of these and I'm going to go to Battleground today and get some basing materials and we're going to add some texture and some interesting stuff to the bases so they're not just gray plastic that's not happening Finishing Friday is all finishing touches on these. So by the end of day Friday, or by the end of Friday's stream, I will have three completed Raptorix figures. It's been a good month. I've really had a good April. Oh, speaking of which, hey! Today, the 28th, is the one month anniversary of my changing the stream over to a painting stream. The first painting stream that I did as part of this uh, Tanatos Paints was uh, the 28th of March. And here we are the 28th of April. Been doing this for a month. Missed a few days because of uh, car stuff. And having to do adulting. But I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made in this past month. Got a couple of really nice big terrain pieces done bunch of small terrain pieces done. These Raptorix are looking great. There's six of these total. 
So I'll do three more next week and we'll be done with the Raptor X. Then I'll probably go back to terrain again. Because there's still four giant pieces of terrain that I want to get done. Once I'm done with those, I can do the untamed beasts, the rest of the chaotic beasts, work on the iron golems, which I have the base coats done for all eight of them. Eight or nine. I think there's eight iron golems and nine untamed beasts and twelve chaotic beasts. But yeah, let's see if uh, by the end of May we can complete this Warcry demo. I think it can be done. It's going to be tight. Just because the large terrain pieces take so long, might not get things done by the end of May. But you never know. Might improve my speed at some point. Hair in here. There. Certainly getting all this practice is making this go a little faster. I've gotten better at painting. So that's awesome. Practice, practice, practice. We'll get there. So I'm just going to do the glaring red eyes on this Raptorix. And we'll count this base coat as done. A third Raptorix base coat in three days. Tomorrow we'll do washes and bases. And Friday, fine details. And we'll have three completed figures. I'm so looking forward to it. Having three figures just completely done. What a great way to end this April. And what a great way to, um, to complete my first month of streaming. Well, not my first month of streaming because I've streamed video games and stuff in the past and I've done painting streams over at Battleground Games Live, but my first month of streaming as a painter on this channel. All right. Time for the finest little dots. These Raptorix have more than two eyes in some cases. Not all of them. There's definitely variety. go. 
Then you look angry. All right. Man, look at that. What a great stream. Well, thank you everybody for joining me. As always, it's really nice to get some progress made, get some paint on the model. And so satisfying to look at this now and just say, this was bare plastic not that long ago. Two hours ago, there was no color on this. And now, it looks great. And it's going to look even better once we get the wash on there. Do some highlights, some edges. Mm, 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 mm. So now we've got three. Fantastic. Well, thank you everybody for joining me. I'm going to uh, stretch a little bit, have some lunch, hang out with my wife a little bit before she has to go to, to work. I'm going to go to Battleground, some chores to do today. I look forward to seeing you folks tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, if you're into fun computer games, Hang out with my mod Insidious Pie this afternoon. She will be playing probably Kingdom Hearts. Uh, and then, of course, Amanda will be reading more on her reading stream tonight at 10 Eastern. Uh, and then tomorrow morning, I will be back for uh, another painting stream and we'll do some washes and work on some bases. So I'll see you then. Have a wonderful afternoon, be excellent to each other, and enjoy whatever art it is you choose to do. Bye everybody, have a great day.